Hey, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of not Labyrinth the War on Terror 2001 to question mark, or its first uh, expansion. In this one, we're going to take a quick unbagging of Labyrinth the Forever War 2015 to question mark. So uh, it's going to be really quick because we have uh, just a, really a rule books and reference cards and a couple deck of cards, but it is taking Labyrinth even further down the road in the War on Terror, so you can uh, 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 continue the struggle, as it were. Uh, and I believe the bots now contain uh, a bot, so you can play you can play as the Terrace if you're so inclined against the uh, uh, Coalition Forces, or uh, you can play the U.S. against the Jihadists, so it's in a simple bag, how it comes. And, as I said, you get two more decks of cards to extend, extend the game out. And obviously they're updated for more modern things that have happened uh, in, the, uh, in the Middle Eastern situation. And I said coalition, I guess I mean U.S. Uh, even though we, you know, it was a coalition group, it was U.S.-led, so. Um, this is also by, this one, this expansion was designed by Trevor Bender. Uh, and the game is by, uh, of course, Vocal Runkey. So, what you get is, you see the bag, two X cards, and then we're going to have the combined rules and playbook. So, if you're adding this in, you're going to just use this rule book, which will take over and cover. Uh, I believe you can play from the beginning on if you're so inclined and have a, a monster game in a small space. So the rule book is, since it is combined, is 32 pages. Again, full color, standard GMT style. There's a lot of density here, but don't be scared. This is the card explanations in the back as I flip to. You get here and you've got the uh, strategy guide and the Forever War deck and the scenarios. And you can even play a scenario that uh, if you're so interested in uh, Hillary possibly winning the 2016 election, you can play that alternate history where you've also got when Trump did win. Uh, so you can play the real history. Um, and there is an extended game, like I said, from 2001 to 2020. So, you know, it says it's combined rules. Um, it, it's not. I think it's a misnomer. It because there's what's changed. There's a what's changed section there. So uh, you're still gonna have to refer to your to your old rules, I do believe. But uh, so anyway, the rule section, the modified rules, including the solitaire play, changes is less than four pages and then you get to the scenarios so it's really more like a playbook it's combined rules and playbook but uh, i think it just tells you how to blend the rules so anyway just something to think about all right so then we also get a small sheet of counters and they're the thinner counters to go with the existing game so they blend in uh, some additional changes uh, you know, when cards are in play, things like that. It's just a few counters. And then we've got the player aid card, number one. There's three of them, apparently. Four of them. This one's stuck together, so player aid card one. Which gives you the event, what the bot will do on certain cards. And then there's player aid card two which has the flowchart of operations, priorities flowchart, priorities tables, which you can refer to. Player Guard 3 has alert resolution flowchart, ARF, uh, an alert table, legend, as well as the post alert res resolution flowchart, operation priorities flowchart, priorities table again. And finally, Player card number four is more card instructions. 
tells you what to do if you're the jihadist if you're playing against the jihadist bot what to do if you're playing against the u.s bot as well as different ideologies and resolves so it's an expansion that allows you to continue so the second expansion probably maybe the last i don't know who knows where things are going in the future but it allows you to expand the game of labyrinth even further and if you get it you will obviously get the four cards you'll get one small little sheet of counters a combined rules and playbook two decks of event cards and a large pack of course now you're going to need a big thick box for a labyrinth which i believe is either out or is on p500 now to make it all fit into a single box so that is what you're going to get i do appreciate you watching hope you're doing well thank you and god bless Bye bye oh